When you meditate, you're making an investment in your mind. It may sound a little crass, but the Buddha actually talks about the wealth of the mind, or your noble wealth, the qualities you develop within the mind, because they do really make the mind wealthy. And material things can leave the mind weak and can leave the mind undeveloped. You see this with people who have lots and lots of things in their life and lots and lots of entertainments. They tend to get very picky, and ha things have to be this way, have to be that way. And then when things are not that way, they just fall apart. But if your mind has inner strength, it can stay anywhere. It can be alone, it can be with other people, and you can still have a sense of well-being inside. So that's what you want to invest in, is that skill to find that well-being wherever you are. Because sometimes life has its ups, and other times it has its downs. But you want to be able to keep your mind on an even keel. So you have to look after the mind. And realize the mind is the most important possession you've got. So that when it's going up into the stratosphere, you know how to gently bring it down. And when it's down in the dumps, you know how to bring it up. This ability to step back from your own mental state is an important one. Last night we talked about clouds, and how in the time of the Buddha, a cloud was the biggest thing they could imagine. Because a cloud could cover the whole sky. But you have to remember, even though the sky may seem to be covered by a cloud, it's not really covered. You go a little distance away and you find that you come to the end of the cloud. And it's the same with a bad mood in the mind. It may seem to cover everything, but you pull back a little bit and you say, well, it's not everywhere. There's still a little drop of sun someplace, so you look for that. And that's when you realize that you don't have to be just subject to what happened in the past. This is called conviction in the power of karma that you can make a difference right now in your state of mind. Something you can do, something you can intend and develop the skills so you can carry it through and be consistent with it. Having that conviction right there is a form of wealth. So hold on to that conviction that what you do right now is important, and the best thing you can do right now is to look after the state of your mind, because everything else comes out of that. When you've got the mind protected, okay, you're, you've got strength, you've got health, you've got wealth. All the good things in life are right here in the mind. Even though they may leave the body at some point, but the, I mean, the mind has its possessions like this, it can go anywhere. You can even leave this life and go to another one and not, not feel any regret, not feel any fear. So invest some time and energy in this form of wealth, and you'll find that it will take care of you.